in this video I'm going to uh, tell you the different symbols used in PowerShell start with uh, the first symbol that I'm going to explain is dollar sign so this dollar sign is used to declare a variable so if I have to store some value in PowerShell I use dollar sign and my variable name and the variable value if I run this command and check what's stored in this variable it will give me this result so I can make different variables or uh, I can also use this variable like store a value or the output from a command and if I run the command now it will give me this value so as you can see I can use dollar sign and the variable name and the value of the variable to use this in the PowerShell script the next symbol I'm going to explain is equal to sign which is this one so this uh, sign is used uh, to assign values to a variable so in my last example if you see I have used the equal sign over here to mention the value of that variable the next symbol is pipeline so it looks like this one so this symbol is used to take information from first command and pass it on to the next command so to give you an example let's run a command then use this symbol and I can use different parameters so as you can see over here I've executed this command get service then used this pipeline symbol to filter the output to select only names so if I just run this command it will give me the, the output in the format status name and display name but I used pipeline symbol to just select the name from this first command and to display the output as required the next symbol is hyphen this symbol is used to join verbs and nouns and also used for parameters modifiers and filters so let's run a command to get the process which starts with s and these are the processes currently running with the name s so as you can see I've used the hyphen over here and to join the noun and verb of this command the next symbol is double quotes and I will also explain single quotes simultaneously so double quotes are used uh, to you know uh, show the values of a variable uh, and single quotes are used to treat the text as literal so let's see this by an example if I create a variable with a value 100 and if I run this text will give me the exact value of the variable from the text saved in the variable and if I execute this same text with single quote it 
will give it will print the output as the variable or dollar a that is the difference between double quotes and single quotes so if you want to use a value from a variable you should use double quotes and if you need to use the exact words uh, or the output as exact literal words you need to use single quotes the next uh, symbol is escape character not this one this one the key left to numeric one key on the US keyboard so this symbol is used to take the next character literally so to give you an example I will write So as we have previously mentioned that this variable is equal to 100, it will give me the result 100. So I just include, if I just include escape character previous to this variable, it will still give me the same result uh, like single quote. So the value of A is $A. Or let's say uh, like it will not give me the result of for this dollar hundred because dollar sign is used as variable but if I just want to include the dollar sign I will inform I will mention escape character over here and it will give me the exact value of that character the next symbol I'm going to explain is parenthesis or the brackets so these brackets are used to you know uh, mention arguments or grouping of uh, characters to give you an example I will use this command so it has just converted this lowercase word into uppercase word or I can simply use this as a simple maths so it has just converted these 3 plus 2 to 5 into 5 and equals 25 or I can use simply to group something something like this one so we can group some values or conditions in this bracket the next symbol is square bracket uh, these brackets are used to access the elements of array or we can use this in uh, comparisons uh, so let's see this with an example uh, I will just type some names separated with commas Okay, 
then I will pipe this output and will use square brackets over here so if I have to just check the first character of all these words I can see like this if I have to check third character I can use it like this also we can use it uh, in the parameters and if I have to you know get a number in my variable I can use like this as we have mentioned integer over here and putting a string input into the variable it is going to give me an error but if I replace it with a number it executes successfully so if I check my variable it says 1 2 the next symbol I'm going to explain is the curly brackets so these brackets are used to enclose a block of code so to give you an example I will execute this command pipe its output and mention curly bracket over here to process some code so this will give me all the services which has uh, the name with win this one so these brackets are used to you know uh, mention a block of code from start point to end point the next symbol is comma uh, this symbol separates different items in a list uh, so let's see an example I will use sim command get service so if I just run this uh, command it will sh give me an output like this status name and display name that I can use comma to mention the columns which I need let's see it should run oh, it's my spelling mistake <laughs> so it will just select the name and status again I can use hyphen character so the result will be displayed in the different format it will just format the table with auto sizing the next symbol 
is semicolon this will allow you to run multiple commands on a same line so let's see I will run this command uh, not this one sorry so let's create a variable with the name test will function semicolon again ask to print this variable and a different command altogether so if I hit enter it recorded the variable first and then displayed the value of that variable and executed this third command over here okay the next symbol I'm going to explain is plus sign so with this sign you can do a simple maths like sorry one plus one like this one or use it in variable like test let's if I check the result of test it will join these two values as you can see over here a plus b the next symbol I'm going to show you is hash so this actually is not used uh, anywhere in the coding but it is used to just mention that not to execute uh, anything after this symbol so it will not execute anything so this symbol is mainly used to mention some com comments or notes in a powershell script so that was it from my side if you like this video please share it subscribe it and uh, your feedback is always welcome Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.